You know what I mean? I get why Spurs fans are like scared. I get that. Well, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. To be fair, so y'all were sitting down there shivering and shaking. Okay. Spurs fans, this is why everyone hates us Spurs fans. <laughs> if, if, if we're looking at that Chelsea squad and we're looking at the money that owner has got, right? For, for a short moment in time, football fans do this. We're above them for this very short moment in time. And Spurs fans, Liverpool are in the mud and Chelsea are in the mud. Both those teams will come back and win things before we do, right? Chelsea have a very good squad of players that need to settle. But football fans are the least patient people in the world. We want everything now, 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 right? Potter could well get sacked. That scares me more than Potter staying. Because if Potter gets sacked and they then go and get a top manager that can work with top players, that scares me more. But Chelsea are, Chelsea are going to be back. We've done this to them before. They finished 10th, we finished second. What happened the next year? They won the league. Right? This isn't new for Chelsea. This isn't new for Liverpool. These teams do this. They're up there for years. They have a year of transition. Everyone writes them off. They come back. Cream rises to the top. And that's why, as a Spurs fan, I know my place in the pecking order. And I, you'll never hear me running my mouth off against clubs that are better than us because we look... Really Where's that place in the good. pecking order, just out of curiosity? Yeah, I, 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 Where I, I, are we? Yeah, Where's that place in the pecking order? Spurs are, Spurs are a fourth to sixth like place team. That's what we are. We shuffle from the Europa League to the Champions League, from the Europa League to the Champions League. We don't win anything. We never look like winning anything. But I look at I look at Arsenal, right? Listen, I'm not going to get carried away. I think you guys have got you've got to do what you've got to do this year. You've got to get over the line. Fair play to you if you do. I look at Chelsea. I look at Man U. I, everyone belittled these teams. Every Spurs fan was belittling them when Poch was here and we were finishing above them. And yet all of them since then have all come back and won Champions Leagues, Leagues, Cups. And what have Spurs done? The complete opposite. I just so, wanted to you, hear that from you. So thank you. you. Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. for yourself because I don't, I don't, I don't agree with you. Patrick, you can agree with me. Patty, what do you not agree with? Patty, what do you not agree with? Sorry, one second. Patrick, you don't agree that all those other clubs have come back and won trophies in Spurs? No, no, Spurs Spurs fans should be scared of this and that. No, like at the end of the day, call it for what you see it. If Chelsea aren't good right now, why can't people get onto them and talk their talk? Because at the end of the day, I don't think they don't fall doing this. You oh no, we, we are. We are. We're living it up while they're yeah, bad. Yeah, exactly. I have like, dined out you, on it for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, you don't live in a bubble. Don't be scared. If Chelsea are shit this year, they're shit. It's simple. Like, you can give yeah, it to yeah, them. But, do you know what I mean? You don't need to be. Is, oh, I'm scared of this. Why? Why are you scared? Yeah, of but hang on, hang on, hang on. First of like, all, you're nothing. taking the word "scared" out of context. Second of all, right? I can see past the end of my nose. Football fans can't seem to see past anything. It's now or never, feast or famine. Right? Not really. Or, not really. Of course it is. Like, sure. like you can, you can, you like, for example, like Chelsea, just you're saying that if Chelsea get a new manager, it could, it could happen, but it might not. It, t- it, it takes time for all these players to gel. It's not guaranteed. There's still a lot of good teams that are still up there right now and are better than Chelsea and could continue to be better than Chelsea. There's no What's rhyme or reason that it's all. Because you're saying that Chelsea, that Tottenham should be scared of them. Why? Why no, should they be? Because there's also no. other teams. If if you live like that, you're gonna be scared of everyone. Like that's not really how I see. No, anyway. no, no. Yeah, not Patrick, so, have you not have you not seen the history of the last twenty years? In the last twenty years, Chelsea are the most decorated football club in England. That's a fact. Correct, like, people want but, to talk but, about. Hang on, hang on. People want to talk about Man United and talk about Man City. Cool. Chelsea are the most decorated team in England. Right. Chelsea are going through a transition, yeah? And, and it's fine. Let's beat them. Let's knock them while they're down. As a Spurs fan, I am so bored of knocking these teams when they're down only for them to come back and win stuff and Spurs fans not learning their lesson. We do not learn our lesson as Spurs fans. We are arrogant. We talk about these teams as though they are. Sorry, if there's any Spurs fans in the comments, you're going to hate me. Fine, hate me, Right. We are a club that don't win things. We are a club, yeah, that laugh at Chelsea where they are now, right? We're laughing at them where they are now for what? So we can finish fourth, right? And what? And what? We're saying they're not very good. What are we? We're not very good. We're just a few points better than a team in transition. We're not in transition. 
just a few points better. I really think that you're overdoing it. And also as well, I don't really get why you're saying, so what are you meant to do, Sav? You're not meant to enjoy the moment. You're not meant to... Like, enjoy, like, but what am I enjoying what, about what, being above because, them? What, what am I enjoying? Because uh, they're your rivals. That's what you enjoy. You enjoy the moment. Big if you're game against doing AC better than you're... Yeah, you're but, doing but better again, than your rivals. No, no, put things into context. Uh, Sonny, I don't know what you're talking about, the AC Milan thing. I'm talking about actual league positioning. I'm talking about actually being better than your rivals. I'm talking about actually enjoying this moment. At the end of the day, you're talking about Enjoy if, but so maybe. And, and the fact what is, you're saying you're that, that Chelsea Chelsea have been decorated. This, and that. this is a new, completely new ownership. New to, You don't know how it's going to pan out. You don't know that. This isn't Roma Bramagosh. This is a completely <laughs> different thing. <laughs> Listen, we... I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure you... what the jokes are. Like, I'm just what I'm saying. I know it's, 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 like, it's not all like... rubbish. But yeah, like, 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 so what are you doing, Tony? Go away. Go for it. Go for it. I don't really get. I live by facts. I live. I live by facts. Right. I I live by facts. I've lived through so many years of this. Of I, I remember when Poch was here and we were finishing second and we were finishing third. We were above Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea. Man United, all at one, not all at the same time, but at different times, we finished above all these teams. And everyone was like, oh my God, they're in the mud. I hate that sound, by the way. They're in the mud. He's in the mud. She's in the mud. Mud, mud, mud. All these teams come back. The cream rises to the top. And you know why? Because even if Chelsea don't get it right, they will buy until they get it right. And they have bought some very, very good footballers, right? That when it clicks, they will be a very good team. And as a Spurs fan, I know my place. Yeah. If we are going to laugh at a team that are, what, 10 points behind us for one season, what am I enjoying about that? They're going to win something before we do. What you just sound you, just, you sound grumpy and bitter. Like you just sound like you're never going to enjoy football because with you, there's always something negative about every positive. Like you should actually, like I said, enjoy the actual moment. But, but, um, but Pat, you, you said, can't explain. Hang on, hang on. No, Don't I, call me no, grumpy. Because... Hang on. You Listen, sound, just because sound, I'm not deluded grumpy. doesn't. You say, no, 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 I'm, no. Not delu- I'm not deluded either. But you I sound didn't like say you were. Just... You, you, like you can't, you can't tell me I'm grumpy. Fans. No, I don't. You really can't tell me I'm Spurs grumpy fans. because I use my common sense. Because you're always saying, "Oh, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do that." What, what, what should shouldn't you do, do this, Sava? What should you do? You're saying, "Oh, you shouldn't laugh at you." Well, no, you shouldn't enjoy the fact you're better than Chelsea at the moment. You shouldn't do like so. What are you meant to do then, as a football fan? What what what's the what's the point of? Um... I, I, I don't know, but I don't know about you, but like, do you know what? There's this certain thing in me called ambition, right? Finishing above Chelsea for one season and finishing fourth. I don't know what I'm like. What am I laughing don't, at? Don't put words fourth? in my mouth because I never said none of this. This is not what I, I didn't said. say. You did. So, I, I, but, you're, so you're don't saying... talk about this ambition. So I never said none of this. But what I'm I, trying to say I'm is that you're saying where's, where's the ambition? Shouldn't... Talk to Daniel Levy. You know my thoughts on Daniel Levy. No, 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 no. You know, let's have a no, conversation no, no, that doesn't involve Daniel Levy. Let's have a, for once, let's have a Spurs conversation which doesn't involve Daniel Levy. We're, we're above Chelsea. We're, we're, yeah. Right? What yeah. am I laughing at, though? Yeah, we're above them. What am I laughing at? That's what I want to know. Well, well, first and foremost, this whole in the mud thing about Chelsea, that's not, again, that's not stuff I say. So you don't see not me saying that. Well. But what I'm trying to say is that why shouldn't you enjoy this moment if you're better than one of your rivals? You should enjoy it. You should lap it up. Okay. And then obviously you, you move on. That's That was my point. All this other I, stuff. I, okay. saying, oh. We're above them. I don't know why. What, what I'm enjoying about it. I don't know. I'm watching some of the worst football I've ever seen at Tottenham Hotspur, right? I'm watching a manager that is, I won't even get into Antonio Conte. And I'm watching a team over there that are in transition. What what is it that you want me to enjoy? That we're above them for this moment in time? For this season, yeah. Why shouldn't you? Anyway, I don't because know, I don't, you know why, Patrick? I don't, I don't, I'll tell you why. I, Been here, seen it, done it, learnt my lesson. What 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 lesson Not is that? Not my first rodeo. What lesson seen is it. that? What lesson is that? Well, my lesson is my lesson is this. I've seen Spurs fans for years and years and years. Whoever the big team is that's below us for that individual season, we get all happy and look at them. They come back the next year, they win something or two years later, and then we're all sitting there going, oh, God, it's terrible. They're all winning things. Yeah, but you were laughing at them last year. Foresight. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm not, listen, I'm not grumpy. If, if being honest comes across as grumpy, I apologise to the show and everyone in the comments. But I see this year after year after year from Spurs fans. We don't learn. That's my point. I look at it this way. I think that if you beat if, if you if you beat if you beat Chelsea in a game, celebrate. If cool. you see Chelsea l- lose, like you laugh at it. 
But I get where Sava's coming from. And Patty, we've had this conversation publicly and privately a few, a few times recently. The way Spurs fans were talking about Man United as an example this summer, laughing that we hadn't won a trophy in six years, and then saying, we'll win one before you. And then when you get yeah. bantered, and, yeah, then think, as a club, think, and then as a I club, think. you guys get bantered when the reverse happens. And then say, well, why are you guys talking about us? Because there was a lot of chat. And it may have been one or two people saying it. But that's not how social media works, Patty, but that's not Patty, but that's not how social media works, is it? Patty, Patty, but that's not how... Patty, but that's not how... Patty, Patty, that's not how... Patty, that's not how... Patty, that's not how... Hang on, guys, I'll answer it. Patty, 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 that's not how social media works. If I make a video tonight saying the sky is red and 200,000 people watch it and comment and go, yeah, I agree, I agree, hit the like and share button, that's 200,000 people agreeing with it. They haven't all got to be the ones saying it. It's about the traction that it gets. When I said that your that your season was un overrated, your summer sorry your, your summer transfer window was overrated, and I got dogs abuse, people threatening to put my children's address on the internet. It wasn't coming from one person. It was him saying it, and then his army of followers who support Tottenham behind him. That's Tottenham fans doing it. So of course, when we beat you to a trophy and you all your season collapses, I'll come for those people. But there wasn't a mass of Tottenham fans going whoa. Don't say that. United are bigger and better than us. It was being either endorsed publicly or silently clapped. Like, I'm not saying it myself, but I'm going to sit in the back and just kind of clap it a little bit. That's how social media works, bro. So it's not 20,000 Spurs fans all saying the same thing, but there's hundreds of thousands of, thousands of them endorsing a particular message. And Spurs fans do get too giddy every year. You see a team struggling that's bigger and better than you, and you laugh at them. And I understand laughing at them in isolation, but the whole, you're dead, you're never coming back, we're clear of you now, there's been a power shift in North London. There was never a power shift, because you didn't win a single trophy in that time. You know, the power shift is about, I think that's what people are talking about, Patty, personally, that Spurs fans win nothing, but sort of celebrate being bigger than teams that are just having an off year. Or an off, or, or an off couple of years, you know. I, I think that's what Sav is saying, and I get it because I've had it in my neck a lot from Spurs fans this year, and it was the weirdest flex I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy to me. I don't even know if any of this stuff is like necessarily anti-Spurs. Like from an Arsenal perspective, I just remember like we we haven't even been good for a long time. Like it's literally been a season, so but we have been crap for a long time, and laughing at our rivals for losing a cup or going out of champions league or the odd time that they finished below us, it was fun, but it felt empty because we weren't winning anything. And I think that's just what he's saying is like, you can, but it feels for me, it felt empty. If it doesn't feel empty for you, Pat, then that's fine. But you know, it's not anti Spurs. It's just from experience when your team ain't winning and all you get joy from is laughing at teams that are doing you know, kind of the same as you or a little bit better, a little bit worse for going out of cup competitions and being below you feels empty when you're not winning anything, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. And I think, listen, I mean, Sav may not even agree with this one, but I do feel, because I've heard it on the airways. Again, I've maybe heard about seven or eight Spurs fans phone in to talk sport and they're angry. At, like they'll talk Conte for me. Our football's bad. I really wanted to get gone. And then the anger really increases when the, of course, the, 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 the presenter does this on purpose, where they say, what are your thoughts on Arsenal this year? The anger <laughs> goes to a whole new level. Oh, they're cheats and it's, it's set up for them to win and they're not this good. And I said it all along. I don't even think Spurs fans would be as angry about this season. The Spurs fans that predicted winning trophies and winning titles, I mean, if Arsenal was sitting sixth right now, these Spurs fans would be content with where they are. It's all like I think some Spurs fans, yes, they'd love to win the league and Champions League, but as long as they're ahead of a rival or two, irrespective of where they are in the pyramid, they're all right. And this season with Arsenal doing so well, I think it's really broken a lot of Tottenham fans because they haven't had, well, at least we're at least we're ahead of Arsenal trophy, which I think they've raised. And that's about standards. Like I love finishing in front of Liverpool. If we finish fifth this year and they finish sixth, it will mean nothing to me. It would mean absolutely nothing. And I suppose maybe that's the difference between, you know, not every fan's like it, but there we go. Uh, HK uh, says, get these, get this Spurs fan on more. Uh, most rational Spurs fan I've ever heard. Patrick is happy with finishing above, above a trophy. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not happy, but I also at the same time, I'm not going to, why would I be pissed off if I'm finishing above my rivals? Football is about rivalries. It is about derbies. That is part no of... No one's pissed off, though. Hang on, no, no one's but, pissed so, off. But to say I'm happy, yeah, of course I'm going to enjoy it and cherish it. But to say that that's me, I'm happy. I've also... 
anyway, you lot know my thoughts about what I wanted this season and what my ambitions were. So this HK guy is, is, ch- is chatting shit, basically. Uh, Raul says, bottom right, uh, bro, what are you enjoying exactly? You are the perfect example of a Spurs fan content with mediocrity, staying down, King. Okay. <laughs> Um, whatever, you, still, whatever. you still don't win anything though Patrick that's the point is what Gareth is saying here uh, Mateos says uh, this is legit football cannibalism cooked his own Spurs brother and sisters um, talking about you Savva the cannibal I think that we can make that catch on <laughs> I kind of like that I'm, name I'm not just I'm old I, I've, I've seen this game so many times I've seen I, every year Spurs fan I told you last week Terry Spurs fans in the summer We've won the transfer window, Bjorn. Arsenal in our rearview mirror. Arteta's a B-Tech Guardiola and we've got Conte as a serial winner. All these things. All of a sudden, Arsenal are 20 points clear of us. And it's like, where are those fans now that were saying these very things? Oh, the, oh, it's changed. Now we've not got a good squad. But in the summer, Arsenal were all four, apparently, and we were going to roast them. And that's why... I don't go too far this way and I don't go too far that way. I stay in my lane. I know who I am. I know what my club is and I will enjoy something when there's something to enjoy. But watching a team like Chelsea build for the future, bearing in mind, right? Sorry, last thing I'll say, Terry, sorry. No, sorry, mate. mate we're all the time we're laughing world. at Chelsea for spending 600 million, but we're laughing at them for the short term. What they're doing is exactly what everyone wants Daniel Levy to do at Tottenham but they're doing it in two windows instead of taking 400 windows to do it. They're building young centre-backs, young centre-mids, young forwards like Nkunku coming in and Mudrick and Felix, whatever. They're doing exactly what we want our owners to do. But because they've done it in this isolated little bubble and it hasn't yielded a Premier League title in year one, everyone's laughing at them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for it to collapse properly in two, three years before I get all giddy about it. That's all I'm going to say. Can I just say one thing as well? When you say laughing, who's laughing at what they've done? Everyone everyone admires what they've done in terms of actual spending. Most clubs wish they could do it. If you're laughing, you're laughing at where they are right now. So again, when you say about oh, Tottenham doing this, Tottenham doing that, I think you need to be a bit more balanced and down the middle because a lot of Tottenham fans would have said that Arsenal would finish in the top four like I did at the beginning of the season. No one was saying that Arsenal, uh, uh, you said about the squads being right, better and this and that. This. You keep so doing I don't, I don't you, really get Where are these Spurs so, fans? They're everywhere. Mate, on my channel, mm, I don't know. on my channel don't in the know. summer. I don't know. I, don't, I, I know a lot of Spurs fans and I don't see these Spurs fans. So I, I, I've I, made it up. I've made it up. Made no, it I'm up. not saying you made I it don't up. Know any Spurs I'm just saying just be a, bit, be a bit more balanced with what you're saying. Like you're going, Patrick, you go I, get, way, way, I get told way, off for being... I get told off for so being be a bit, Be a bit more balanced. That's what Pat, I'm saying. Right, hang on. First of all, absolute BS what you've just said there. And I'm going to call you out for this. Balanced. As a Spurs fan, I sat at the beginning of the season and I said, Spurs will be fourth, no more, no less. And I said, Spurs will be fourth for one reason and one reason only, and it is Harry Kane. And I said, everyone needs to calm down all the Arsenal hate and everyone needs to calm down all all the title talk. I saw loads of Spurs fans coming into my channel saying things like, look at the squad, we've got two players in every position. We're going to finish on 86, 88 points. None of that has materialised. Uh, again, I don't know. I, yeah, don't know. But, I yeah. never saw Spurs fans saying this either. But, but Pat, that, by Pat, 88, listen, 86 I, points, winning titles, what? what? Like, where did, where did you see that? I never saw that. Pat, so. I've got a Spurs YouTube channel, <laughs> bruv. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a Spurs YouTube channel. 700 people watching me on a Sunday night, right? Do you not think I get these views in my comments all day long? Right? I'm not making this up. Spurs fans are the most deluded fans in football. We go from we go from famine to feast. We're going to challenge. We're going to do this. We've got Conte. We've won the transfer window. To oh my god, no, we're terrible. We haven't backed Conte. Rah, rah, rah. There's no. And then you tell me I need to be balanced because I'm calling it correctly. Wow. <laughs> 